all this morning. God, all the praise and the glory and honor. We thank you, Lord God, for your goodness and your mercies this day, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that your purpose will be fulfilled in this. I thank you, Heavenly Father, for that. We love you. We thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. With that, we ask for a volunteer to read Article 41, Section 2 and 3. Amen. Article 41, Section 2 and 3. It shall be the duty of each member to render aid and assistance to sibling members in cases of illness, death, or distress, and in every way acquit themselves as a loyal and devoted member of the International Union. Three, it shall be the duty of each member to participate in all local, state, and providential and federal elections through registration and balloting. Amen. And thank you. Thank you for that. And Luke. Amen. I think we lost Connie for a bit. Hey. Yes. Hey, we got Jerry Carson. Hello, Elder. Hello, chaplains. I'll bring you greetings from President Sean Fain and Vice President Director Chuck Browning and the entire International Executive Board. We want to thank you, chaplains, for all you do in your place of work, in our union, in the community, and with and for your families, being the salt and the light, meeting people where they are, loving on them, and sharing the good news. We can never say thank you enough to you in your family and those that stand beside you so that you can serve this great union and God speaking life into others. Love you chaplains. You are a blessing. You are the salt and the light. You are who God says you are. Today, today is a special day. Today is my last day to, to be on the WebEx as serving you and I just want to tell you this. I want to tell each one of you. I uh, I wouldn't be here without God, without my wife, and without the chaplains. It, you know, we all, God says this for us to love him with all of our hearts, mind, soul, and might, and then love one another. And that's what you chaplains, you you pour into me more than I can pour into you, but I give you everything I got. I give God everything I got in the UAW, and the UAW is the people. It's you, and it's just been such a blessing serving alongside you and being that small part of helping to meet the needs of the people that God has placed across our paths. It was just wonderful being with you all. And I will be an active retiree. But uh, what a blessing you are in my life and my wife and my family. You, you are. I, you are my family, our family. And God has taken each one of us to many places throughout our lives. But I can tell you. I can tell you, I never fit in anywhere until God brought me into UAW. I always just felt it felt like, um, you know, just it, this wasn't where I'm meant to be, but this is where I've been meant, meant to be with the UAW and serving you all. Um, and then I'm going to stop. I can go on and on about each one of you chaplains. Each one of you are in my heart. And I just know one thing, it's going to be a glorious day when every knee bows and every tongue confesses. But I know one thing, that every one of us are going to be busy about God's business and running our race with a purpose 
and and being busy out in the field because the harvest is much labors a few but many hands make for a light load love you chaplains i'm done i'm gonna turn it back over to connie and elder it's good to see see uh bobby with us too i see you bobby Hello. love love you god bless love you too jerry love you jerry god bless love you all love you jerry god bless you love you thanks love you love you god bless love you hey kina love, love you you are a blessing <clears throat> many parts one body hey Herb Taylor, were you, did you, would you like to say a few words? Hey, Sister Connie. Yes. I'm good. I'm just going to listen. Um, it's good to see Jerry Carson. It's good. Yes. It's good to see Jerry Carson. Now. And I'm just going to stand down. I'll come back at the end, Connie. Go ahead on. Okay. All right. All right. So we're going to we're going to claim this as Jerry's day and we're going to ask if all the uh, people that are everything. on today would like to have a few words to say to Jerry today. That's one of these. To encourage him and to let him know how much we appreciate it and all the love that he's poured out into each of us chaplains. Uh, he is to me walking in bottom embodiment of god's love karen thomas Thank um, you, Karen. retiree from uh, indianapolis local 933 um chaplain for the retirees and uh as many of you know i'm i consider myself a a new member to this group it's only been a, a year or two that i've been associated um but i have to say in getting on right away, Jerry had his arms open. Um, I, I felt his heart. I felt his love. I felt his care. I felt his concern and interest. Um, you, you know, we don't always have leaders like that. And, and that's so what's wonderful about uh, not just the UAW, but the chaplaincy specifically. So I just want to say, Gary, God bless you. Thank you for your heart to serve. I'm thankful you'll continue to serve with us. Um, may the Lord direct your steps, guide you, and continue to be encouraged in, in all that you do. And everybody, you know, just... Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> this is Shirley um, Davenport, Local 163, um, Daimler. I'm the um, coordinator Capacity coordinator for Region 1A, and Region 1A has been blessed and continue to be blessed to have Jerry as a part of, of Region 1A. And as Karen said, he's an example. Whatever a chaplain is, we can find that in Jerry, Jerry Carson. And you can feel it. It's not just words. You can feel it. And, and his words that he always says, you know, they, they, they might forget what you say or they might forget what you do, but they will never forget how you make them feel. And that's Jerry. We will never forget how he makes each and every one of us feel like, like, like the spotlight is always on you. He makes you feel important. You know, he's always going the extra mile. Sometimes when I ask him for something, you know, he'll, 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 it, it, it is kind of out of his way, but it's not out of his way. And that's a blessing. You don't find too many people that, that genuinely love people and that genuinely take the time to show them that, that they're appreciated and that they're loved and that they're cared about. And we're so thankful. I'm thankful that God saw fit to give us Jerry. Mm -hmm. And and he he he's gonna always be with us, but just in a different capacity. And I and I'm I'm looking forward to him yet being in this capacity with us. It's it, Jerry, you always say you are a blessing. 
you are a blessing to each and every one of us. And we Thank love you. you. Thank you. Love you. Thank you. Thank you, Cheryl. Hello, this is Hello, this is Angela King, and I just want to thank Jerry for all your service. As you say, arm sharpens arm. And from the day I met you, you always went out of your way for the chaplains. And I know whatever you do, you'll do good because you are God's child and you're a leader. And I want to just say enjoy your retirement. I know you'll be a working, active retiree. You'll never go away. But take care of yourself, take care of your family, and take some time out for Jerry. And that's I love you so much, and I thank you, Jerry, for all that you have done for the chaplains, for getting us certified to when we first came, and just making us feel comfortable. And as we say, everything's in the house, so take care, Jerry. God bless you. Enjoy thank your retirement. You, God bless. Thank you. Hi, Jerry. Tina Chapman, Region 1A, Local 600. Jerry, when I think about you and your servitude, I think about you are the definition of many words. You are the definition of servant. You are the definition of giving. You are the definition of caring. You are the definition of love. And for all that, Jerry, I appreciate you and all that you have done for the chaplaincy and making all of us Joshua's feel welcomed and feel like family, like we like we are not strangers. We are not, I was never a stranger to you, Jerry. And for that, I appreciate you and I love you. And I just want you to say thank you to Viola for me, for sharing you, because that's a big thing. That's a big thing. And even with all that you do, Jerry, for your wife to share you with us, that's paramount. And I thank her as well. Enjoy her, spoil her, and just love on her. And I know she's going to enjoy having you. We love you, Jerry. And I'm speaking for myself and Linnell. Linnell got off work late this morning, so he's probably still sleeping. But we love you, Jerry. God bless you. Thank and you. And good luck on your next journey. Thank you. Love you, Tina. Love Linnell. Love you. Good, mo Oops, hold on. Good morning, Jerry. I didn't want to miss today. I knew this would be your last weekend. This is Donka. Hello, everyone. Hi, Donka. Hi, hi, everyone. Um, I just wanted to say that um, Proverbs 17, 17, a friend loves at all times and a brother is born in adversity. And Jerry is everything that um, you think he is and more. Um, I've been in contact with Jerry during this time and he's just an amazing person. And, you know, um, well done, Jerry. Well done. That's thank all you, I can Donka. Say. I love you. Thank I you. you. I wish you all best. Well done. Thank you. Love you, Donka. God's got love you, you love covered. You. Take care. God bless. Hey, I want to say hello to Donka. I know this is Jerry's day, but I know Jerry wouldn't mind me no. speaking life into Donka. It, it does our heart. Well, you just made Jerry day. Um, we love you. We need you. And yes. you know all of that. And yeah. um, please, please, if you don't mind, just render a small prayer right now for all of us, including Carson, because you are a treasure to us. Please, Dr. Yes. Good afternoon, Elder. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I have been on an occasion. I do watch you on YouTube as well when I can't make it on. So I have been checking in. Don't you worry. Um, um, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for gathering us all today and giving us the gift of being chaplains and walking together on this road. Um, we ask that you bless Jerry as he goes into the world and help him to always remember that um, he's been a good and faithful servant and he'll continue to be one and never to doubt his talents, his treasures and all that he has done. Um, for all those, um, big or small, whether he realizes or not, the impact that he's made more than some will ever make in their lives. So thank you, Jerry, and um, amen. 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 Thank you, Donica. You're a blessing. <laughs> As are you. Take care. That's got you covered. We want, we want to say we love Brother Jerry. It's was an honor and a privilege um, to have seen him uh, on his way out. He 
here in Region 4. We're just finishing up our conference. Uh, just jumped online, just got in the car to be ready to head back home. And um, we had an awesome conference, but but the highlight was uh, to be the, the last region to uh, get a chance to uh, honor Brother Jerry um, and, and uh, his way out. But I know he's going to be one of those active, active uh, retirees. So, Brother Jerry, we, we love you. Um, we honor you. And um, it's been a privilege uh, working together. And uh, I'll never forget how you uh, came as soon as you came on um, the chaplaincy uh, staff, how you uh, came to Chicago and on a Saturday night, uh, for our night of worship. I'll never forget that. Um, so it was just awesome to, to have you there. But uh, God bless you. And uh, we look for God to do uh, many, many great things in your life. Thank you, Brother Randall. Love you. Hey, man. Um... Uh, Helene Walker, and most of you know who I am, but just in case, I don't want to get the big head and think everybody know me. <laughs> Helene Walker, Local 600. Um, you know, there's two things that vividly stands out with me. I found out, and some of you might be shocked, I found out that Jerry don't like it when you say, Jerry, 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 because he told me so. He said, I'm a servant, say that a servant. And I always remember that. So every time somebody say, Jerry, Jerry, I shout servant, servant, real loud, because I want Jerry to hear me making him feel good, calling him a servant. And that's the kind of person that you really need in your life, that somebody that won't, don't want to lift them up high especially not higher than God, but to see them as a humble servant of God. And that's the example of what a chaplaincy, a chaplain is and what chaplaincy is all about. So I want to give tribute to this servant, this servant, awesome mighty man of God. And not only do he want to be called servant, he is a servant. I remember when my heart was the most he was the heaviest, one of the most heaviest times in my life, when COVID was at an all time high, when thousands of people were dropping dead every day and all over the world, people were afraid of this demon called COVID. And my husband was in uh, under the ventilator and I was in quarantine in this house by myself and I live in a place where no family or friends are. Jerry came knocking on my door. He called, and he, I say, Jerry, you don't have to do that. I'm gonna be okay. He said, no, Helena. My name is Helene, he said, Helena. <laughs> he said, you need something. I say, well, Jerry, you know, I stock up on almost everything I need, but I don't have these things that they saying I need, like some aspirins. I don't have uh, any bread. And a couple of them, Jerry brought the, the bag of everything I asked for and put it at the de doorstep. And I will never forget that. That's called caring and serving. He proved that he was a mighty servant of God. There was another time when I met this smiling man. I didn't really know Jerry then, but he was just smiling. And he came from the international. And, I had been serving under Connie for years. I had never seen anybody come from the international, not all the way down to our little uh, meetings. So I met him and I invited him to come to my our meeting. And then I said, oops, I didn't tell Connie first. I said, he's not going to come anyway. <laughs> we, I didn't know whether she didn't want anybody peeking in and see what we're doing or what. I don't know what kind of man this is. I didn't invite it. Jerry showed up with Ruth Golden. I said, wow. <laughs> and then he keeps showing up and showing up and showing up and showing up. He never stops. And I said, wow, not only do he show up for me, not only did he show up for our little meeting, he is all over the place. He is a true servant. Jerry, I will always call you a servant. You are a true servant, and I model after you. 
You know, there's people that you try to reach when you need them. Serving at chaplains, you know, you need somebody. You have questions. You you had a stumbling block. You 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 need somebody to talk to. You want confirmation. They can't get their phone. I have the hardest time calling and texting. And te this man is the busiest man in the UAW, and he answers every time. Oh man, he's he he is a true servant of God because God answers every time. I know he can't answer all of us all the time like God can, but he certainly tries his best. I love you, Jerry. I'll always remember you. God bless you and your wife. Bless you with the heart of God. Amen. Thank you, Helena. Thank you. Hey man, this is Henrietta England from Local 551, Chicago Assembly Plan Active. And, and Jerry, my heart is full. <laughs> I'm, I'm bubbling over this morning because I just thank God for the time, the, the time that I've had to, to meet you, this opportunity. And you represent the fruit of the Spirit. Every single one of them, you show forth your kindness, your temperance, your patience, your loving kindness. God said to draw us with loving kindness. And you do just that. And you, you, I feel so comfortable in this space. I've never been in a space, Jerry, as you have testified this morning, where you're comfortable, loved, yeah. And you show forth all of that. And I thank every one of you chaplains. I'm sorry for getting emotional. But I thank every one of you. And Jerry, I love you so much. Um, may God bless you. May he keep you. May he strengthen you. And you and your wife. May he thank give you all longevity. Thank he said he'll restore the gears that you, that you have poured out. To your people and so i love you god bless love you too thank you henry you're a blessing love you brother jerry this is paul nichols from local 1895 when we were having our mini conferences for region five you came down to oklahoma <laughs> what a treasure we were together able to take you back to the airport and all those things man it's love love never fails like you always say in that 13th chapter and when love comes through you can't you can't escape it you just embrace it and, and love back as much as you can we love you thank brother you. jerry god bless you thank you love you love you my brother paul love you Sheila Stribling, Local 6000. Brother Jerry, I thank you for your service. I thank you for your giving. I have personally received um, from your love and giving, and I pray that the Lord keep you and carry you through, And for he knows the thoughts and the plans he has for you. It is of good and not of evil. Even in this time of retirement, for personally, it's a, re it's a world uh, made up. Um, um, name or to uh, uh, aspire to be, but your love and giving and showing the goodness of God, I'm aspiring and hoping to do so. And I praise God because uh, the blessing of the Lord is with you. And then the word says in Job 36 11, if you obey and serve him, you will spend your days in prosperity and years in pleasure. So I celebrate the opportunity for you to be released to do newer and greater things to the glory of God. Enjoy your life and enjoy what he has for you upcoming. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you and I love you. Thank you. Thank you, Sheila. Love you. You're a blessing. Douglas Woolard, local 898 Ford Motor Company retiree. I just got to share that knowing Jerry way back in 2008 or 2009 doing sub council, I was able to look across the table and they pointed it out and say, hey, that's Jerry Carson. He's uh, the chairman of uh, Sheldon Road. I said, okay. He said, ah, 
So I got to know him way back in sub council. And once I left my servant role as a committee person, I became the chaplain of our chaplaincy committee. And I put on a golfing outing. And who showed up in 2013 and showed out? Jerry Carson. He showed out with gifts and prizes to uh, pass out to the winners and uh, participants in my golf outing. And the following year, I had another golf outing. And Jerry was able to gather items again for me to pass out. So I've been knowing Jerry ever since again in 2013 as I joined the chaplaincy program. And as I've grown to know him, I have grown to love him and to respect him. So I thank you, Jerry, for being a friend. In Jesus' name, I bless you. Amen. Thank you, Doug. Love you, Doug. You're a blessing. Family. Doris Roberts, Local 12. Hi, Doris. Well, what I want to say to you, Jerry, is welcome to the Retiree Club. And there's Thank just a few rules you should know. I always say yes to fun, forget the clock, and be and be sure to make time for family and friends. And I want to say thank you for visiting us in Toledo. We're, we're truly going to miss that. Um, enjoy yourself, Jerry. Thank you. Thank you, Doris. Love you. You're a blessing. Yeah, this is Derek Roberts from Local 551 Chicago Assembly Plant. We're just now leaving the uh, regional uh, chaplaincy conference. I want to Thank tell you. Jerry how much I appreciate him over the years. I never forget when Jerry came to Chicago. Uh, my sister was transitioning. She had got diagnosed with cancer, and they put her on hospice, and she was transitioning. And being a pastor, sometimes you're trying to be strong for everybody else, and and I, I didn't know how to grieve. I didn't know how to really deal with it, and I came out to turnstile and there was Jerry standing outside of the the plant and uh, I told Jerry what I was experiencing and he wrapped his arms around me and gave me the biggest hug and he pressed strength into me and I would never ever ever forget that day every time I think about it I bring tears to my eyes and and joy to my heart because God God's timing is perfect God's timing is perfect, and God had Jerry in that plant that particular day, standing where he was standing, and uh, he doesn't know how much strength he pressed into me. And as a result, I would never forget it. I'm grateful for it. And, Jerry, I just wish you well in your retirement, uh, you and your wife and your family. I wish you well. And uh, if anybody if anybody's going to have a crown, I know that Jerry's going to have one because he has certainly served the people well, and he will continue to serve the people well. So we love you, Jerry. Enjoy, enjoy your time away, but uh, we'll never forget your 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 service and your labor of love. God bless. Thank you, Derek. I love you, and I remember that day too. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Jerry. God bless you. Hey, James C, local 862 for a motor company, also retired now. And I'm not retiring, I'm refiring. So say, Jerry, congratulations, man. I tell you, you, we're giving you flowers today, Jerry. Thank you, James. And I know, I know you, you don't like all the accolades, but this is your day. You deserve all <laughs> that we're saying. Everything that everybody has said, I totally agree with everything. And I was thinking, Jerry, you're a man that walk in integrity. And what you have planted in the hearts of men and women would never be forgotten. Uh, not only that, you're a man of the word. You know, you love God. You love your family. And I was thinking about your wife, Viola. She's also retired. She might be still working actively. I don't know. But she's retiring, too, because you are retiring. Yeah. So listen, yeah. my brother, praise God. I want you to really enjoy your retirement time that you have. I pray God's good health over you and travel where the places that you want to go. And Jerry, there's one thing I know some people have already said. You're always going to be a servant, man. 
Okay. Wherever you're at, what you're doing, you you are serving. You. And I Thank like you. that because those that are the greatest in the kingdom of God is not how well we can preach, how much we know the word, but those who serve. So, man, I, I'll tell you, praise God. We're so blessed and honored, Jerry, to just speak these words over you today and your family. So, hey, enjoy your retirement every moment of it. And uh, you don't have to get up as early. See Ben as long as you want to and travel when you get ready. <laughs> you are a free man. Your freedom. Praise God. You've been released. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> God bless you. Thing. God bless you for your endurance. Uh, all these years that you work, Jared. May God bless you and your family and keep you in all your ways, man. We love you. Thank you, James. And, and it's Bye -bye. right back at you. you. We are cut from the same cloth, brother. Love you. And congratulations on your retirement, too. Thank you, Jerry. And But it is a new season. That's what it really is. There isn't. I was called somebody the other night. I was told somebody was need, need prayer. So I called and talked to him at fellowship, and we prayed. And whenever I got done, I told him, hey, I'm going to be retiring on Friday. And he's known me for many years. He said, you ain't retiring. It's another season. That's all it is. That's right. Yeah. So another season. You, you and I are going to have to go to our retiree meetings to get our vittles. Right, Paul? Right, James? Yes, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> I love our retirees. <laughs> yeah, yes, me too. They're our foundation. We're going, we're transitioning over to the foundation. I don't dare tell the ladies we're going to, to get our vittles at the retiree meeting. I've been teasing my wife, though, about it. <laughs> hey, Connie. <laughs> Elder. You, you chaplains. You, I get to see a little bit of God's glory on this earth. It's You are beautiful. There's a lot of good happening on this earth. Amen. Even, even with all the storms, I, uh, I, you know, I listen and I watch. Yeah, hallelujah. And, yes, there's a lot of good, and it's because of what you do. You, you all are standing in the gap. You are beautiful, and uh, I'm just, I'm just a servant, and I'm just, you know, God gave us, and it. We serve an, a beautiful, holy, holy, holy God Thank that you, gives Jesus. us and does everything for us. And, and he is so, and the, the goal is for all of us to emulate uh, what he, he, to be what he meant us to be. And that's all, every one of you, what you say to me is the same for you, because every one of you are beautiful, fearfully made. We're, we're peculiar. It's whenever people treat us bad, we're still going to be kind to them, and they don't. The world don't understand that, but that plants a seed, and then they want to know what makes us peculiar, and we can share the good news. And that's all you guys are doing: the iron sharp and iron. And I just been so blessed to be with you, and. It's like, uh, it's it, it, honestly, every day is a miracle. Every day is a gift. And I know you all Man. know this. I know you Man. do. I'm going to be quiet, but just thank you for the kind words. And yeah, and uh, just like Brother Derek talking, I mean, God places you at a spot and you really don't know what's going to happen. And then, Brother like Derek comes out and you just love on them. And then you find out what they're going through. That isn't by chance, but I look forward to seeing Derek's sister. I look forward to that time. Amen. I love you all. Well, happy Friday, y'all. Hey. Greetings, chaplains, in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I am Sister Sherry Gillis-Clark, Local 31, Chaplaincy Chairperson. 
Yeah. One of my favorite quotes by the late, great Walter Ruther brings you to mind, Brother Jerry Carson. And it goes like this. There is no greater calling than to serve your fellow man. Yeah. There is no greater contribution than to help the weak. There is no greater satisfaction than to have done it well. Brother Jerry, everything and everyone, and I mean everyone you have touched is blessed. So well done, our good and faithful servant. We love us some you, Jerry Carson. Love you, Sherry. And you're, you've been nothing but a blessing in my life ever since God brought you across my path, too. You are awesome, mighty woman of God. Just thank you for doing, you do the same. We, you are busy in the field. You, you are such a blessing to God and to us. Thank you, Sherry. Love you. Love you. To God be the glory. Yes, yes, yes. It's a, it's a good day. It's a day okay, of the Lord's Okay, day. let me, let me, let me come in. Let me come in and. Uh, big, big brother's uh, going to pull me. Uh, Brother Carson, we've been through a lot. Yeah. But we came through. We came through. And um, you serve no wine before it's time. And it's truly your time. It is your season. It is Viola's season. You deserve it. Yeah, thank you. You deserve it. And all of the stories that's been told can never replace, will never, ever replace the love that these chapters have for you. We can dress it up any way you want to dress it up. But when it all comes down to it, you got to understand what it really meant. When over 200 strong chapters would chat the words, and I want everybody to come up a mute right now. They were chanting love, Brother Carson, but what they were saying, and it was one of the few times that we all was on one accord, and that was because of you. And this is what we heard, and this is what we said. Can y'all help me say, Jerry, 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 Servant, servant, servant. Yes, Jerry, servant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Elder Taylor. Yes, sir. Dan Kinderbiner. I got to be quiet. Come on, Dan. Talk to us. Sorry about that. I didn't want to interrupt, but um, the conference just concluded. Then uh, I know folks are traveling back home. I'm still at the office. I got there's some paperwork we got to do, so I'm wrapping up right now. But I just want to tell everybody that's on the call that was here at the conference, y'all knocked it out of the park. And for the folks on the call, it was a blessing, big time blessing, uh, of the spiritual works we did for the nursing home mm -hmm. and all the fellowship we did with them. It was just blessed is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad, is all I can say, because He rejoiced mm -hmm. every single day with us. He kept us all safe. Um, and kept us all healthy and we did just i don't i'm speechless i really am and to be able to be blessed by the presence of of all the chaplains elder taylor we had anthony walker from eap we had shawana woods we had bruce seitland both service reps retiree rep we had a little travis brock from down at 2250 and then and um and to have 
our international rep, assistant director of chaplaincy, Jerry Carson. What a blessing it was to have him and end our conference uh, and turn another chapter in his life. And we prayed on him and we loved him. And I love you, Bear, uh, Jerry, very, very much. And I just, I know that God's got another chapter. Uh, that book is still growing. It's still being written. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And I just mm -hmm. appreciate you with all my heart, all my soul. Uh, mm -hmm. And I appreciate all the chaplains. And I'm going to be quiet right now because I got to do this paperwork so I can get on the road. But Jerry, I love you. Love all you chaplains. You guys keep doing, this, doing what you do best and keeping them to fight. Um, yeah. And it's 2024, so we got work to be done, right? Yeah. Work to be done. Love you, love love you, you all. Dan. Love you, Dan. Mighty man of God. You are a blessing. It, yeah, Dan is truly a blessing. Uh, yes. He's the mm. liaison. One of a, one of a few. Yes. And we got a lot of good li liaison, but Jerry Carson, once again, uh, just want to say to you, uh, to much that is given, much is required. The expectation has increased, and God is expecting more of you. Can't nobody say this. But Elder Taylor, the alert. See, I know, I know the thoughts that he has for you to prosper you, to keep you in good health, yeah. for you to take hold to this active retiree role, and you'll be different. You won't be like anybody else. You will be a mirror of Paul Nickel, who's stuck and stayed. See, you will be a regular, active retiree, and you already have the assignment of being over all of the active retirees. <laughs> See what I'm saying? We're going to continue to shout, Jerry, you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I'm going to say what Bill Eden say. He ain't going nowhere. He's just like Bill Eden is going to stay on the golf course. You're going to stay with the chaplaincy. You're going to have time for Drew. You're going to have time for that new dog you got. You're definitely going to have time for that first lady, Viola. But I say again, little is much when played in the master hand. Mm -hmm. And you have Amen. been in the master hands all of your life, Jerry. Amen. That's why Amen. you pour out like you do. That's mm -hmm. why can't nobody outwork Jerry Carson. Because uh -huh. he got the little that has been placed in the master hand. Yes. So I'm not I'm I'm not sad today. Mm -hmm. I'm rejoicing. Yes. Yeah. Cunning. We got another ultimate weapon for the retirees, for Amen. the active retirees. All right. And God has flipped the switch. <laughs> he has flipped the switch and brought Jerry Carson in full, brother Paul Nipple. Pastor Walker, he brought Paul Nichols in fold. I'm riding with a retiree back to Kansas City. So this is confirmation. Gary Carson is going to be with us. And we're going to let everybody off the air a little bit early because Jerry has been celebrated all through the day. Solidarity self has poured love onto him. He cried like a little baby yesterday. Ken Thomas and myself had to push him in his truck. We pushed the truck down the hill so he could get started. He didn't want to leave us. He didn't want to leave us. He didn't want us. They, look, they looking for his computer because this is a holiday. This is a national holiday. Labor Day 
and Jerry Carson is trying to hijack <sighs> Solidarity House. Look <laughs> behind him. He still got chaplaincy posters on the wall. Jerry got to get out of town. The security guards want to go on the holiday. So, son, son, what do you know, Jerry Carson? Uh, <laughs> Jerry Carson, this past week, he has been kicked out of the women's and T.O.P. because he didn't want to leave them. They kicked him out. They sent him <laughs> down to region four. He's up in <laughs> he's up in region four, trying to stick around. Ken Thomas, Brandon Willis, they had to kick him out. <laughs> now, now he's on this Chevrolet Webex, thinking he's gonna hide somewhere. We gonna kick him out. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a kick out, you man. But you gotta close the office. You gotta shut it down. You got to come on home to the active retirees. And we waiting on you, brother. We waiting on you. Thank you. So, Sister Connie. Sister Connie. Uh, Elder El, El, El Taylor. Before, Elder Taylor. Uh, oh, we can't go nowhere. That's Bill Eady. I know. <laughs> Bill. Talk to us, Bill. El, 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 to us. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you, not many people can get me off the golf course with Brother Carson, knowing it is his last day. I, 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 I had to retire a little early so that I could get on this WebEx, and and just how grateful and thankful I am for the many years of service that he's supplied, but not only the chaplains but for the UAW. Uh, it, this was a, this was a fervent prayer that I had that Brother Carson would retire this year. Hallelujah! <laughs> and, and I'm just and, and I'm I'm just here to say he he may not come when you want him, but he's always on time. Yes, sir. God is good. I, I, and I just want to say, say tell Jerry that I love him. I thank God for him, and I look forward to to going to some retiree luncheons with him and and getting some snacks. <laughs> 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 Love you, Bill. Oh, nah, hey, man, this has to be God ordained because Bill Eady is right. For us to get him off the golf course, it took nobody but Jerry Carson. So, uh, hey, Bill, if you can, uh, are you still with me? Do you hear me? I'm, I can hear you well. Hey, Bill, the ultimate closure of this chapter is for Jerry to hear his best friend, Bill Eady, close out this chapter and see Webex with prayer. Will you do us the honor, Brother Bill? Thank you. Thank you so much. Lord, our Father, we come to you today as humble as we know how, ever so grateful and so thankful for once again allowing us to have fellowship on this chapter to conference call. Father, we give you all the praise, the honor, and the glory. Father, we are so grateful and so thankful for one of your angels, Brother Jerry Carson, being with us and guiding us and leading us in chaplaincy for many years. Father, he has poured his heart into it, his mind, his soul, and his body. And we are just so grateful that he is going to be an active retiree in, in chaplaincy. He continues the great work that he's always done, but just out of different capacity. Father, we know the chaplaincy is going to be fine because it's in your hands. Yes. No one person That's can, can, can stop what, what you have for yes. the UAW chaplaincy program. Yes. Father, yes. we're grateful, we're thankful, we honor you, and we're just so grateful and thankful for everything that you have done for us and you continue to do for us. We ask these blessings and many more in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. No, Patrick Klein has been trying Amen. to get in. Amen. God bless you. Guys. Hallelujah. God keep you. Patrick can join. God bless us you, Jerry. All. We love you. Yeah, love everybody you. have one more opportunity. Join us this 
Monday at 7 o'clock Eastern on the Chapter C web that's called. We'll have a uh, part two only if Carson is not on the golf course. The <laughs> field is going to try to team him up. But look, everybody have a blessed weekend. Enjoy yeah. your <laughs> negotiated Labor Day holiday. Yes. And to God be the glory. We love you, Carson. And just love you. Love you. one more time before we go off the call. <laughs> Everybody, Jerry, 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 Love, love you. you. Love you, Love you, Sharon. Love you, Brother Patrick. Brother Patrick, we're going to get with you. And love you, Elder. Love all of you chaplains, family. No, I love you, Jerry. Thank you. What's up, Jerry? <laughs> love you too, Brother Jerry. Love you. Love you. Good to see you. God bless. Be blessed, servant of God. The almighty God. <laughs> Hallelujah. All right. Take care, Jerry. Love you. Jerry, my mother said thank you for all you do. Tell her I said I love her, Doris, and she's a she's a bless.